Hey guys, welcome to WPF Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to start a new WPF project and we're going to look at the three basic parts of what makes up a WPF application. Um, first, we're going to show you how to create a new WPF application. So we're going to click on File, New Project and select WPF Application and we can give our application a name. I'm just going to call it Day 1 Tutorial. Click OK and it's going to create our project. So the three basic parts of the application are the designer, which is this area right in here, the XAML view, which is this area right in here, and then the code behind, which is this file right here. And this is the code behind the view that runs the basically runs the application. A lot of the logic will go in there. XAML stands for Extensible Application Markup Language and it's derived from XML and although it's going to seem complicated at first it actually makes a lot of sense and is going to give us a lot of flexibility with the layouts that can be designed with it. So real quick let's take a closer look at what's in this XAML. The first thing we're going to see is that the XAML document has one top level element which is the window and it's got attributes like height and width which define the dimensions of the window um, and we have the, the title attribute, which just gives the window a title at the, the top up here. So we could call it WPF Tutorial, and it'll change the title of the window. We're just going to put it back to main window for now. It doesn't really matter. Then we have the grid shown down here, nested inside of the window element. So right off the bat, we can see the benefit of, the, of XAML. Just by looking at this nesting order, we can say to ourselves, hmm, this grid is part of this window. And then if you'll notice back up here, the class is called main window. And that refers to the class that's declared in the code behind file. And real quick, I can go back to the main window. I can drag a button onto the page and can create an event by double clicking that button. It'll take us back to the code behind. And I can fire off a message box that says something like hello everyone don't forget to subscribe to to WPF tutorials and I'll click save run that real quick Ah, it says hello everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to WPF Tutorials. So that's pretty much it for today. I just showed you guys the designer, the XAML view, and the code behind, and we'll get into more fun stuff tomorrow. And as always, guys, I really, really appreciate your feedback to know what I'm doing wrong or right. So please, please leave comments below the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks.